drink is uh, called the Optimist. The, the Oculus? The Optimist. The Optimist. Yes. This drink was created for uh, the Bukhari Legacy Coffee Foundation in 2015 and won the competition. Wow. And then I went to represent Hong Kong and Macau in the Global Championship. Congratulations. Um, thank you. This is uh, consists of um, Bukhari Spirit, Bukhari White, and then we have a ginger and honey, fresh lime juice, fresh basil. Uh, the glass is rinsed with the yellow shutters and a slice of cucumber. Wow. There's no cucumber in the drink. It's only on top just to give you a nice beautiful aroma every time you're having a sip. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. thank you so much. This is for me. It's a culatello. It's a 36 month uh, culatello, which is a kind of prosciutto from uh -huh. Zibello Parma, uh -huh. Emilia Romagna. Uh -huh. So you can feel it's like uh, the heart of the prosciutto. Uh -huh. And it's so, so nice and tasty. What Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie mille. Prego, Oh. See what I was saying? Out of all the meals that I've had on this trip, this is the one I've looked forward to the most. To let you tell also the senior to this shit. Thank you. So, for you, it's a beautiful interpretation of uh, Avalon. It is. But as you can see, the, the twist is uh, more with uh, an Italian touch. Okay. In this case, it's uh, abalone from uh, Australia, South Australia. It's a red abalone, which is slowly cooked first. It's comfy, uh, 18 hours at 80 degrees, and then served like a carpaccio style. Uh, served with a uh, royal rochetra caviar and a uh, uh, sweet uh, pepper and uh, tomato compote on top. Wow. In pairing with the beautiful uh, Fiano di Avellino, it's uh, one of the beauty, beautiful uh, grapes from south of Italy. We are in Campania area in this case. Uh -huh. And Cino Piccarelli is very small producer. Uh, in this case, uh, really respectful for the variety because it doesn't age in the oak, mm -hmm. just kind of still cast with the um, aging of surli which means in contact with the skin for a few months. Uh -huh. So it is more complex as well. But the, the, the beautiful aspect of this one is the acidity, the freshness and the minerality that match beautifully with your uh, appetite. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay, did you hear all that? So we're gonna have a lot of wine today, so we're just doing little tastings because I'll get real drunk and then the camera will be shaky. So we have uh, some abalone from Australia. And then we have some uh, Royal Ocetra caviar and some tomato as well. Paired with this delicious Italian wine. So we carry on for you now with a uh, beautiful seasonal uh, white asparagus. It's a white asparagus uh, from uh, Provence. On the base we have orange and asparagus emulsion, and uh, um, on top we have uh, pata negra. In this case it's a uh, ham from, from uh, Spain, sorry, and it's uh, aged 48 months. Okay. It's a nice combination of sweet and uh, sepid taste. And what was the... The emulsion is orange and asparagus. Orange and asparagus emulsion. It gives that beautiful freshness from the orange. On a, a, a asparagus from Provence. From and Provence. what was the Pata Spanish? Negra. It's a, Pata uh, Negra. Yeah, it's Iberico ham. Okay, Iberico ham. Okay. The most premium ham from Spain. Okay. And in pairing, I choose another beautiful white wine. This is a white wine with a great uh, territorial feeling. It's uh, from uh, Soave area. Uh, Suave area is not too far from the uh, Venetian area. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful volcanic origin soil. In this case, Gin is a very small producer. It's Contrada Salvarenza is uh, the single plot, single crew, oh, where wow. the grape come from. From old vines, Vecchia Vigna, 2013. In this case, the wine uh, has been aged in barrel mm -hmm. for one year, mm -hmm. and one year in bottle, to, before to release on the market. So it's a very complex white wine, with a beautiful uh, round element on the palate, but with a dry finish. Wonderful. Enjoy it. Thank you. This is a nice ripe bread for you. Okay, so we have two services of bread because bread is part of the Italian culture. And this is the second service, which is a warm rye bread. Rye bread. So you, we carry on now with the pasta. This pasta style, uh, it's a traditional from South of Italy. It's called the macaroni. It's a homemade and then twisted pasta. In this case, it's served with a beautiful uh, Brittany lobster roux, together with the sea archin, basil leaf, some Mediterranean herbs as well, and tomatoes. It's in pairing with uh, a white wine from uh, Marche region. Marche region is the uh, center of Italy, in this case, 
facing to the Adriatic coast. And this is uh, Verdicchio from uh, Matelica. Matelica is a beautiful village on the Apennine mountain, quite influenced by the cool climate, but also by the seaside. And Verdicchio is one of the most important Italian white variety with the important uh, aging process as well. In this case, we have a selection called Mirum, 2014. It's an 18 month aged in the stainless steel cast to preserve the aromas and the beautiful complexity of this cake. In this case, we need something with a nice structure but also with a beautiful freshness to match with your pasta. Enjoy. Thank you. So, we let you try our black platter from uh, Perigord, France. So, it's shaving on the traditional pasta, which is called tagliolini. On the base you have an emulsion made with the butter and the parmesan and a black truffle fondue. Roman always like to share different uh, truffle because it uh, has a different flavor each other. Hope you enjoy. Thank you, chef. That's it. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Simplicity is the key. Finance the top of flavor. Wow. We wow. recommend you to mix uh, with the sauce on the bottom. Okay. Make sure everything is well uh, integrated. Okay. And in pairing for wow. you, we have, uh, yeah, it's quite intense. Eh? Because you can't get the heat from the pasta, it leaves this beautiful aroma. Wow. That's why it's, uh, too, it's very important to shave on the spot. Okay. And uh, for you, we have uh, red wine from Etna. Etna is a beautiful volcano yeah, in, yeah, yeah. in Sicily, where the Nerello Mascalese comes from. Yes. All vines, uh, very nice high altitude, which is uh, the key point of this uh, beautiful, elegant... Uh, I've had that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Maybe not that, that but type, but wine. from Etna wine, yes. So, uh, I think it's the new, it's the new boost of really? wine. Really? Wow. Yeah, for elegance, very versatile wine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But even with seafood preparation on the other side, with pasta and truffle, yeah, and yeah, and I really love this uh, this producer as well, which is a Pietra Dolce, yeah. very cony producer from uh, uh, Etna area. Uh -huh. And in this case, we have in the uh, Nello Mascalese under percent. Thank you. Any Bordeaux blend because we really focus on Italian wine. Oh, and the beauty of, of Italian wine, the, the, the strength of Italian wine, it's the biodiversity. But uh, in this case, we have a, a red wine from uh, Puglia, uh, the hill of Italy. And the grape, it's, I'm not sure if it's easy to pronounce for you, it's called Susu Maniello. It's a grape that has a Greek origin, and, uh, and this is something uh, more deep in taste, more, more fruity, more floral than the first one but the beautiful Mediterranean uh, character. I love this wine because it's also quite velvety and very drinkable on the palate. In this case, the pear is with a, a risotto, which is made with the seasonal green. Then we have a morel mushroom. We just start with the morel mushroom season. Chef Bomana always like uh, this uh, kind of uh, mushroom because uh, it's something complex, but on the other side, it's also very delicate. The the risotto is prepared together with the three kinds of aromatic cheese. We have uh, taleggio, parmesan and testun, which is a cheese from Piemonte. Uh, so just a little test for you to enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. So it's a uh, um, signature tenderloin. On the base we have braised the uh, uh, celery root with the short rib. Black truffle from Perigo, France, and a uh, whipped potato with the black truffle as well. It's a signature of our chef. And uh, in this case, we pair it with a beautiful wine from uh, Umbria, the heart of Italy. And uh, it's a Sagrantino. It's a beautiful local grape from this area. And, uh, we're talking about the high altitude, around 400 meters. Old vines, around 10, 35 years old. And uh, it's a very nice, uh, a very important uh, football red wine from this uh, wonderful region. In this case, we need structure, we need tannin, we need the beautiful and long lasting to pair with this uh, important main course. This is a wine that gives you this uh, feeling. The tannin is on the palate because the Sagrantino has a, a richness of a polyphenol. And uh, in this case, I have a beautiful aromatic part on the nose that reminds you dark, dark berries, but also licorice, chocolate, leather from the barrel aging process. 2010 for you. Enjoy.
Thank you. Thank you. For dessert, we have a pre dessert. Uh, in this case, it's uh, something uh, refreshing, uh, cleaner for the mouth to enjoy the dessert later on. And then we start from a base of a lemon sorbet with just a small amount of milk gelato. And this is uh, it's gonna be an emulsion together with these additional ingredients. <laughs> Thank you very much for your great support. So first of first part we smash a little bit the, um, the gelato and then we start with the, our homemade limoncello which is made with this beautiful uh, amatica lemon right here and then we have a little bit of uh, game stramina grappa. This is a game stramina grappa, we choose it because uh, we like to be Italian 100%, the classic recipe was including uh, vodka, we, we, we slightly twisted and uh, we love the aromatic one uh, from Gemustramine because it gives uh, more complexity to the sorbet. It was invented in Venice a long time ago for the Queen of Italy, Regina Margherita. She was looking for something refreshing after the main course. And uh, the service, uh, the server, they arrange this beautiful uh, sauce style. Now it's quite popular in Adriatic coast, Venetian and also market region, they do it. Mille Romagna. We need a little energy. Yeah? So it has to be fast and food. Yes, the last part is about bubbles. We need a little bit of acidity. So we just add it. Champenoise method from uh, north of Italy in this case, based to Chardonnay grape. Perfect. So, as I said, the emulsion now is compact, ready for you. You have a frozen cup. Then a little lemon zest on top. Finish this beautiful, refreshing salad. Dessert at Otori Mezzo. Enjoy it. Wow. Thank you. Wow. I love this one. Oh, so, for you now, we have our dessert, which is made with the hazelnuts and chocolate. Typical and beautiful ingredient from Piemonte. In this case, we have the chocolate tart with the hazelnuts on my gelato. Then we have our um, warm chocolate mousse and uh, crunchy hazelnuts on the side. It's a beautiful combination of texture and a different kind of temperature as well. Paired together with the uh, muscato, it's a sun-dried uh, grape uh, from uh, uh, Aosta Valley. We are uh, on the extreme north part of Italy, almost in the, on the border between Italy and uh, France and Switzerland as well. And uh, this is uh, Le Crete, a beautiful producer from this area. Uh, with a great identity of terroir and Moscow in this case uh, has a little bit more floral notes has a little bit more complexity, a eucalyptus concentration and a beautiful uh, sweet uh, medium dry lasting Thank you Enjoy it Thank you Okay, this is dessert number two Dessert part two Enjoy it Yes, okay. this is the real last one let me know if you want I serve a coffee for you or anything you like. No, no, no. Thank you. Okay, 
Desert, number two.